Peace, love, and light, Libra, Scorpio, Cusp Collective, and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cusp of Roses to Row for your airy season love reading. I'm super excited to give this reading out to you all. Um, I hope this video finds you well and in good spirits and safe. If you are dealing or affected by this pandemic in any way, shape, or form, I am sending you so much love, light, and courage, and joy, and peace, and healing, all that you may need to get through this tough time. If you have lost a loved one due to this pandemic, um, you are not alone. I too have lost family, and it is tragic um, and heartbreaking, but we're in this together. You are in my prayers, okay? Um, for those who are new, welcome to the family. I'm so happy to have you here and very grateful that you resonate with my readings. Um, please feel free to comment what resonates with you. Um, any insight you may have to share, it's all welcomed in the comments. Um, you never know what insights you have or what's resonating with you that might help someone else as they're watching too. So feel free to join in um, in the comments. Thank you all. I do read them all. Thank you so much for your support and your love. Um, you guys are all amazing. Um, thank you to everybody who's requested a reading from me. Um, I'm so happy that you guys are finding them helpful and they're resonating with you. Thank you to everybody who's also donated. Um, I really do appreciate that. It helps me keep this channel going. Um, so I really appreciate it. And um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, go ahead and check that description box below, okay? All my information is there. As well as if you're new to being a cusper, check the description box because I got some um, information there about this particular cusp of drama and criticism um, that might help you learn a little bit more about the dynamic, what planets are in Involved, how the characteristics show up in life and the best way to balance the two energies okay so um, for those again who are new I do start off every reading with a quick prayer this is an opportunity for you to ground your energy for me to ground my energy for us to be grounded together okay um, you can do any affirmations any prayers any mantras um, meditations that you like to do to connect with your divine self or higher source or spiritual team. Um, you can do that while I pray, okay? And then I'm going to go over the energy that I've been feeling for you guys, and then we'll get into the reading, all right? So um, we'll go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters of Light, my own divine ancestral council, and all archangels, thank you so much for being here with me, with the Libra Scorpio Cusp Collective for this particular reading. Thank you so much for connecting us in this moment in time and for allowing me to be a clear channel to bring forth the most important messages of healing, love, truth, and light for the overall personal development, growth, and ascension and the prosperity of the Libra Scorpio Cusp Collective. We thank you so much for allowing us to receive these messages. Thank you for covering us in your love, light, and mercy every day and lifting us up in courage to face whatever comes our way, whatever twists and turns. May we meet them and embrace them with love, with grace, with joy, with peace in our hearts, in our minds, in our bodies, in our souls. And we're just so grateful, ancestors, that you walk with us every day and guide us through signs and synchronicities to our highest good. We're so grateful to have you in this lifetime and beyond. And so it is. Okay. Lord Bios, Lord Bios, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, your energy, I mean, no surprise, felt a little intense when I started connecting in with it, but it also felt very focused. Um, it felt kind of like you were really focusing on centering your energy and being very grounded. Um, yeah, I think that's important for you that you've been maybe even just trying to hold on a little bit. Um, to some sort of some sense of sanity during Aries season um, with that fire igniting that air water dynamic you know you got a lot of change a lot of creative energy a lot of formation happening and I think you're feeling that whether that be a lot of 3d changes due to the pandemic right um, or maybe some spiritual realm changes that are trying to integrate with your higher self and you're feeling that in this in this way that's almost like you're feeling that call to just, okay, I got to focus up. Okay, I got to like, I got to get in my zone. Um, so it feels like that. 
As far as chakra centers, there's a little throat chakra activity, a little bit of solar plexus um, energy, and um, some root work, okay? Some root chakra energy. So work with those chakras um, for the remainder of airy season. I know we don't have that much time, too much time left. Um, Definitely check out those chakra healing videos in my playlist section to help aid you on that, okay? 20 minutes um, at least will do the trick for those that are new. If you can last the whole hour or the whole duration, that's awesome as well. But 20 minutes usually does the trick, okay? So 20 minutes a day on your throat, solar plexus, and root. And then we're going to get into this love energy. So I'm going to keep the same spread that I did last season, okay? Um, I'm going to pull an energy for the Libra uh, dynamic. I'm going to pull an energy for the Scorpio dynamic. And I'm going to pull an energy for the balance in between. Please, yes, do excuse my nails, okay? I actually... <gasps> I bent my nail these were like my actual like real nails like not tips I bent my nail and it split kind of like right on my pinky like halfway through like oh almost down to the white meat so I am growing them out taking my time because the second I put acetone on top of it that was like the dumbest thing I could have done and that hurt really bad so we're working with this, okay? So no judgment, all right? I know we're all in quarantine, but as soon as I can get that pinky nail to grow out a little bit more and cut it, um, I'll be soaking this off, okay? For those that were concerned, not that many of you were, but all right, Lorpios, we're going to get into this. Um, yeah, you just feel very grounded and you feel very focused on trying to almost, it's almost this preparation mode. Um, you, and again, I think you're having a lot of transformative energy. Yeah, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you, getting to know each other. Yeah, Lorpios, you're feeling somebody coming in for you. Um, someone may be wanting to express some sort of love. And I think that with the Aries energy, it's like almost like heightening up your intuition and that mental aspect with the Libra Scorpio, right? And I think you're sensing it very deeply, even if you're not seeing it in the 3D, right? Or don't have any type of romantic connections. I think there's someone coming around you, um, or you're just at least sensing that someone may be thinking about you heavy, okay? Your intuition is pretty, pretty heightened at this point. So you may want to also work with your crown and your third eye, okay? Go ahead and just do the complete, but... That might help you too. Let's go ahead and look into this Libra energy. Thank you so much, ancestors, for airy season. Thank you. Yeah, reconciliation. <laughs> Someone from your past is returning to your life. So um, I know that Venus is about to go into retrograde or I think next week sometime. Again, I should really get get back up on keeping track with that. But um, yeah, the... I think as Venus goes into retrograde and as we move into Taurus season, that I think you're picking up on that Taurus vibe almost already where you're feeling that sense of grounding. And then with the Venus going into retrograde, it's going to be pulling you back across um, some people's minds from your past. Now, mind you, love energy isn't just romantic energy. It can be platonic energy like uh, family and friends. It could also be career and finances. OK, so whether this be an old employer um, you know, a family member, an old friend, a past lover, you're going to be crossing the minds of a few people and they're going to feel this need to reconcile with you or come together or mend something. Now you see that how they are in the clouds. Like I said, this mending, this healing, this changing, this shift could be happening up in the spiritual realm for you. And that's just what you're sensing now in your day to day in the 3D, um, which is why you're kind of feeling like, OK, I need to ground something. I think that that in your mind is kind of it's happening. You also may be having dreams about the people, places, things that um, are coming back around with this Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde is going to be super important for you as far as like a transformative process, maybe bringing up some opportunities to heal um, as far as like, you know, heal past friendships or heal past um, lifetimes or timelines with 
some energies, okay? Uh, what is the Scorpio energy for the Scorpios? Thank you. Yeah, separation. So this could be somebody, an opportunity, a timeline, a path that you might have been separated from in the past. Okay, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. There's definitely some sort of soul tie, soul connection um, that is in separation. Now, mind you, you can have a soul tie to a career. You can have a soul tie to a lifestyle. You can have a soul tie to a religion, a soul tie to a person. Um, all of that can still play right from past life so there's something that you are separated from now um that is okay yeah there's going to be some sort of pulling right this was the separation that's coming now into this reconciliation now some of you may be feeling this one way or the other okay so all three of these spreads could resonate with you just one just the other you take what resonates for you um mind you right not everything that i say in this reading due to it being general is going to resonate for every single person okay so this is an opportunity for you to sharpen your own intuition tune in with your higher self and be open and receptive and feel out the messages that are for you okay remember you know yourself better than any reader all right but there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely a bit of a split here. Scorpio, that Scorpionic energy is sensing maybe even, oh, okay, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Maybe even reliving what past situation that happened in the past, like maybe through dream state that, because um, you can even see there's like a little mist around her. So this could be in dreams where people, places, things, opportunities, maybe from a past life are going to start circling back around with this Venus retrograde coming in next week. Um, and probably throughout tourist season, um, where you're going to be feeling that sense, like maybe even reliving the situation that separated you in the first place. Whereas your Libra energy is sensing the more lighter side of it. Yeah. Like if you even look at that, reconciliation feels a lot lighter and brighter and separation is kind of like a dark tone to it you see what I'm saying so very fitting for scorpionic energy straight into the shadow let's get to that you know let's face what the real not the real of it is but you know let's clear out and bring light to the shadow aspect of the situation while your Libra energy is sensing and feeling in the mind that need or that desire for reconciliation now that desire for reconciliation again like I said I don't feel that most of you, that it's coming from most of you, Lorpios. I think it's someone feeling that want and that desire towards you. But for some of you, it may be the opposite, okay? So just, again, take what resonates. What's the balance for Lorpios, for Libra Scorpios, for Aries season? What's the balance, Spirit? Thank you. What's the balance in love? Ooh, uh-oh, okay. Playfulness. Very nice. Okay, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Wow, engagement. Here we go. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ooh, okay, so we're going to keep both of these out. That's going to be the center. Interesting that two came out for the center. So again, and then interestingly enough, playfulness and separation still with that theme of that dark tone, right? Okay, and then engagement. And reconciliation more in the light. So you're definitely experiencing some sort of transformation with this yin-yang energy here, Lorpios, okay? Um, and I think that that's going to be a very interesting and important dynamic for you to be aware of, okay? Uh, let, right. Well, we got the, yeah, healing family issues. So this could be visits from soul family needing to come back and heal something with you so you can move forward. And release some sort of dark energy regarding a separation. Um, this could be, again, you connecting some dots like, oh, that's why this particular thing about relationships triggers me because you may have a dream that then shows you, right? Oh, I went through this with a particular individual and then that. So those types of dots I feel like are going to be um, a little bit more clear and more connected to you, okay? All right, we're going to clarify a little bit more. Where am I at? Ooh, yeah, 14 minutes. I'm doing good. All right, I'm going to try to keep these around 30 minutes, okay? Um, just because it's just an easier upload for me. I love doing the longer readings. I really, really do. Like, I love getting deep and in-depth, but um, it just, the processing of it just takes forever. 
and I'm sure I could like download an app to make it go quicker, but just haven't put the time to research that in yet, okay? All right, cards, what's going on? All right, so Libra energy, it's like, ooh, half of you, <laughs> that's funny, yeah, 10 of swords, half of you want, I kind of feel this, this split just happened, like some of you who may be resonating more with this darker energy is like, ugh. I don't want to, like, I don't want to talk about it. And then some of you in the light are like, yeah, let's talk, let's talk. Or, like, eager. Okay. Give me one more shuffle. Thank you. Thank you so much, angels and ancestors, for these beautiful messages for Lorpios. What do they need to know about reconciliation? Wow. That's a lot of cards, spirit. Let's try that again. Give me three cards that they need to know for reconciliation. Yeah. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, reciprocity, uh, balance. Mm. Got the star, very beautiful Aquarian energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, and then we got strength, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with someone who actually, very interestingly enough, I believe Aquarius and Leo are one sevens of each other as far as like being is. The house of partnership right so they're actually a kindred match so there's this balance coming this reconciliation yeah this is you lorpios starting to align with soul family they're pulling me into this star formation here um so like i said um people from your past loved ones from the past soul family from the past may be coming through your dreams and reconciling with you if you've experienced um again like i said with the pandemic right a lot of unfortunately a lot of people are losing their lives and the loss of so many lives is going to really heighten our empathy heighten our sensitivity to the spirit realm as the spirit realm receives these souls right and it, it kind of re rejuvenates almost the energetic field and it brings in a new balance to the veil so for some of you um who are more in your libra energy you're going to be um connecting more with your loved ones on the other side and it's like so some of them who might have passed and again my condolences if anyone is experiencing that but they're taking their formation up in the sky okay and I always, I'm always pulled to this uh, cardinal. Cardinals um, are signs from your loved ones and ancestors, right? When you see one, that's them trying to speak to you, at least let you know that you're there. If there's been something worrying you on your mind, it's them letting you know, we got you, you're not alone, okay? But what's very beautiful is that there's this strength here too, right? Which balances out this star energy very nicely. Interestingly enough with the six of pentacles, so... There is an aspect within your energy, um, Lorpios, that is going to find some sort of balance that's going to that's going to allow you to connect with maybe just, again, different parts of yourself from the past, connect with soul family from the past, lovers from the past, soulmates, right? So you're going to be doing a lot of connecting or have been doing a lot of connecting this airy season, okay? Um, that's actually very beautiful. I love that, Lorpios. All right, let's look into the Scorpio energy. Thank you so much. Emperor, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, yeah, so this is that emperor energy. Um, again, please don't get caught up on the gender of the cards, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energy within you. This could all be for you just as a solo single person, not attached to a relationship with anyone else, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, but essentially, there's an emperor energy here that you've been separated from. So I think with the star and strength being here with the six of pentacles in your Libra dynamic, this emperor energy can definitely be you feeling in your power and standing in your power. It's also the energy of Aries and Mars. So we are under um, the sun is still in Aries. So it, this could be um, that light energy, that life energy. Um, again, separation from a part of you or maybe even separation from the memories of past life, right? So like this reconciliation is bringing you back together with those parts of yourselves that, you know, your soul may be fragmented a little bit. 
it's really interesting. My guides and um, yeah, my guides and my answers have been really taking me back through past lives a lot recently. So forgive me if it kind of comes out a little heavy, but that's just what I'm seeing and sensing. This is definitely I feel you guys in your power um, a bit or realizing maybe where you've disconnected with your power, right? As far as separation. Um, this could also be a, an actual person, right? An actual past love, past husband, past um, uh, wife, okay? Someone that was of major significance to you that you were separated from or that your soul may be separated from in a moment. Yeah, Ten of Cups, this was someone that brought you or an opportunity or a connection. Okay, I'm gonna say connection. Thank you, Spirit. This was a connection that brought you emotional bliss and happiness and full fulfillment, Okay. Very, very beautiful energy, but I think that that could be what's making you happy, right? So again, take what resonates. This could be soul family, um, you know, a past lover coming. It feels more likely in the energetic realm coming to reconcile with you. This could definitely be in the physical with the Six of Pentacles here. Um, I They're pulling me back here. So for those resonating more with this Libra energy, this Six of Pentacles is telling me that this balance, right, with this partnership between the Aquarian energy of the star and the Leo energy of strength, that means that that partnership, this reconciliation of this energy is going to be grounded into the physical with the six of pentacles is actually going to come to fruition okay it's going to find harmony in the 3d tangible world so again this energy partnership could be within you right this could be your planets aligning or something in your own natal chart aligning for you to gain and reconcile with a part of yourself from a past life and find balance or ground that in to live it or to correct it or to redeem it because six of pentacles is also about redemption for me a little bit it comes after the five of pentacles which is about that lack so that six is like redeeming that lack finding that rejuvenation right again so there's there's a lot of energy a around that um coming together and grounding in the 3d but it's some sort of partnership some sort of union within Again, your own energies, union with a soulmate, union with a new opportunity, even union with an idea, right? Or a lifestyle or um, a past career path. You might be tapping into those skills again and those gifts and that's bringing a balanced partnership or a balanced um, way of, of energetically connecting that helps you ground something or receive some sort of balance in the 3D, okay? What's the overall for separation? Yeah, so this was somebody that definitely made, wow, yeah, Ace of Swords, clarity, clarity, yeah, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, I think for those, okay, with the pandemic, those in quarantine, right, so you may be separate from your partner due to the quarantine, okay, and I think that there's this truth this clarity that realized that an emperor energy, again, whether this is you, whether this is someone else, brings you this ten of cups, okay, some way, somehow, or you have this ten of cups or the desire or the clarity that someone that you are separated from is your ten of cups, okay, you're finding out that truth. And that's what's in the shadow where, okay, yeah, that's why it's in that shadowy dark energy because this could be somebody that you might have had to part ways with in the past, right? Um, or just, again, like it could have been past life. This could have been past life fulfillment or a wish from a past life, right? Um, that's now coming in to the 3D, like I was saying. That partnership is with this emperor that's being grounded, okay? Or this emperor energy. Now, emperor energy is also like CEO vibes. So again, like I said, this could be you starting a business, coming into a business partnership um, with someone like an Aquarian or Leo energy. That really doesn't even matter because we all harness all the Zodiac um, energies regardless. But it's partnership. I think spirit brought them out because they are one sevens of each other. This could be like a business idea, like I said, reconciling with a career path from a past life that's going to bring you some sort of peace, reciprocity, some sort of material balance, okay? So whether that was, oh, I used to be, I feel like I'm, I'm running around, but you guys get what I'm saying, okay? I, I, I feel like you get it, yeah. Yeah, engagement and playfulness, judgment, a wish fulfilled, Scorpio energy, 
I am loving this reading, Lorpios. This is beautiful. Very, very beautiful, okay? So this is like my wish fulfillment card. This is the heavens coming and the final call. This is like that homework check, right? Spirit coming down and saying, all right, what have you learned? What did you know? What have you done? Let me see your work. Let me check, you know, <laughs> let me go through with my red pen and see um, where you're at so we can adjust accordingly, right? So this is under engagement and playfulness. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So Lorpios, there is this need to embrace this time of separation with the knowledge and understanding and clarity that this emperor energy this emperor path that you may be on um this connection is f emotionally fulfilling like it is something that does bring you happiness it's a opportunity it's a job it's a career it's a relationship a connection that does bring you some sort of full fulfillment and joy okay and you're getting that clarity all right, what else for engagement and playfulness for Lorpios? Thank you so much. Okay, whoa, whoa, all right, what we got? Two of Pentacles, yep, yeah. okay. So someone needing to make a decision, balancing and juggling. It's interesting that there's two that came out for the balance, right? Then we got the Knight of Rods, okay. Someone wanting to move in quickly, woo, with an Ace of Pentacles, interesting very very interesting okay yeah so like i was saying with the judgment and the two of pentacles this is spirit coming in and saying okay well what do you decide what are your choices what are your options right did you make a decision have you made a decision are you still trying to decide right this also could be someone making yeah actually this could definitely be someone making that decision, right? Someone who was in this indecisive energy or this juggling energy of two opportunities has now heard the judgment call from their ancestors or their guides, or this is you, Lorpios, you're hearing that call to go ahead and make a decision, go ahead and move forward, right? Or, ooh, interesting, this could be your guides choosing this path right or taking one of these pentacles and showing you which pentacle oh yeah showing you which pentacle is actually coming in for you which pentacle is actually being activated out of these two yeah you see what i'm saying very very interesting and it's, it's this Knight of Rods is very flirty energy. It's very fiery. It's very passionate. It's very intense. And that might have been that intensity. This could be you now getting that clarity, right, around what your Ten of Cups is, which is this Emperor energy. Again, whether you're in the Emperor energy or this is someone connecting to you, okay, you now know the clarity that that is the seed that you want to plant with this Emperor energy, right? You want to go forward in that energy and plant a new seed. You want to start something new with this emperor energy, right? You might have been in this kind of back and forth. Maybe even I'm getting like hot and cold energy with the playfulness. Like, so this could be somebody or an opportunity or an idea that you've been flirting with, with this Knight of Rods energy um, as well, that you've been flirting back and forth with. And now, Judgment is here to say, okay, well, well, well what do you want? What's, what do you want? <laughs> They're like, all right, the time is now. What do you want? What do you want? What's the overall for engagement and playfulness for Lorpios? Yeah. Eight of Swords. Not seeing your worth, not seeing something clearly, holding yourself back. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So I think. Some of this energy, Lorpios, has yet to happen for you. You could be right now feeling this Eight of Swords energy, feeling trapped, feeling stuck in the mind, not really seeing how overcrowded your thoughts are with um, outside opinions. That's another meaning that's been coming through for me with this Eight of Swords, right? Like not being able to truly see your truth because it, there's just so many external things, but it's also self-imposed, right? It's self-imposed. This is also in this energy of 
Okay, because it comes after the Seven of Swords, like after clearing some sort of deception or experiencing some sort of deception or realizing that deception has been at play in the mind, right? And I think that this is then where you realize, okay, there was some deception, right? So the Five of Swords, right? You moved away. Now you get to see, okay, what's really your truth? You go down to the two within that seven. And then you go to this eight area where... You almost are fearful to trust yourself again or trust your thoughts again. It's like not really trusting your foundation or not really trusting the growth in the mind that you've had regarding this situation or regarding love or regarding any career or financial, like some sort of dream, some sort of goal, some sort of opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles also talks about a shift in a movement right? Something changing again in the 3D. So this pandemic could have been a part of you gaining the clarity. You got two aces here um, on this ace of pentacles or on this new beginning, or maybe on if you are possibly ready to be in this knight of rods energy that's very flirtatious, right? That's very outgoing, very ready to just kind of go and be adventurous, right? I think that's something that you've been maybe holding yourself back from or a little um, skeptical about or not trusting that energy within you. Like you may be feeling, like I said, you're sensing this higher level, you're sensing this transformation, you're sensing all this happening. You may even be sensing or feeling the need to be playful or wanting to be playful, wanting to share that lighthearted energy with someone. But currently or, you know, in the past, maybe even, a little bit more headed forward you're still not trusting the the newness like you're not trusting the clarity yeah you're not trusting the clarity that you're getting okay very interesting Lorpios okay let's go ahead and see what the crystal angels have to say about this spread thank you so so much ancestors for this beautiful reading for Lorpios for airy season um, yeah, okay, they're like, girl, if you don't shuffle us, please let us know, Crystal Angels, any advice or guidance or insight, tools that Lorpios can use, crystals that Lorpios may need in order to help them get out of this Eight of Swords energy. Yes, and enjoy this Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Star and Strength, and receive this Ace of Pentacles. Thank you so much. What do Lorpios need to know about this spread? What crystals do they need for assistance? Thank you, Crystal Angels. Okay. Who's here for Lorpios for Aries season? Ooh. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So for those, like I said, you're sensing that change, you're sensing that shift, you're sensing something's coming, don't freak yourself out, okay? Don't, if you're even, okay, yeah, because <laughs> you're sensing it coming and then you're also getting that shadowy kind of dark energy of what happened in order for you guys to separate, whether that was this lifetime or another lifetime, right? So try to remain positive and playful with the energy and looking at the bright side of it and not hold yourself back from feeling good about this new beginning, okay? Whoa. Yeah, let yourself feel all of your emotions. Clear quartz. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Let yourself feel all of your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. Exactly. So you're feeling this higher level of engagement. You're feeling this desire to be playful and to flirt with this knight of wands. You're feeling this ace of pentacles coming to you and this ace of swords coming to you. But yet it's still not maybe clear that that's what's happening in the 3D. So you're you may be doubting it. So do not doubt. Yeah. Let yourself feel it. It's okay to be excited about something, about feeling something coming, even though it might not be here or manifested yet, okay? It's okay to be excited about what you're manifesting. Just make sure that you're protecting those manifestations as well, okay? Or those that energy. Yeah. That was Yellow Jasper. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may control you. 
Wow, with the emperor control issues? Absolutely. So that could be why you are separated from this energy. Again, whether this is an energy within yourself or a connection that you have, this emperor in the past or you as this emperor in the past was super, super controlling. Super, 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 super controlling. Yeah. Or maybe even um, controlling out of fear, right? Um, yeah, you may have lost someone or that separation due to some sort of something that was either either you were too controlling or it was something that was out of your control, okay? And that forced you apart and then you guys never came back together or the opportunity didn't come back around before you passed in that life. So now it's coming back around for you in this life, okay? Very, very interesting. I love that. I love this, Lorefields. This was a really cool reading, like very clear, very direct um, energy. So I hope this helped you. I hope you found some some sort of good, something that resonated with you, right? Some sort of light in this um, and felt clear enough within your own energy to right enjoy enjoy right and to just trust trust yourself in this situation Lord Bios you got this okay all right I will see you all, all yeah no I don't have a bonus reading coming out for y'all so I will see you next season in Taurus season all right namaste